It was a perfect day on the Chirahala Skyway as we headed back home. We didn't see another car for two hours, and the drive was almost as memorable as the weekend in the Teleco Gorge. The Teleco Gorge area is one of my favorite places on earth, and I was so excited to finally get to share a weekend there with my family. And as we followed that road through the clouds and the snow, my mind couldn't help but to drift back to some of the memories we had made. P5 got a beat down under a curtain. P5 was making another step up in his paddling progression, taking on the ledges section at a proper flow. He would even try Jared's knee for the first time, where he got flipped at the worst possible moment. Mistakes in water like this can be costly. And though the kid has ice in his veins, I was interested to see how he'd do when it really mattered. And then of course, there's the simple joy of launching your kayak off a vertical drop. We even caught one special moment for a friend. That was our weekend, and this is how it started. All right, folks, we are here at the mountain cabin in Teleco Plains. I got the River Princess, mm -hmm. snacking down some chips. Pete, where are you at? He's upstairs. Pete's upstairs in the loft. Let's go up there and check him out. Yeah, we are doing the 15K Mountain House Getaway, celebrating 15,000 subscribers. And uh, Pete's over here, about to drop some waterfalls again tomorrow. Mm. But for now, he's conquering the world one plane design at a time. Uh. Right on, so this is the kids' room. Not much light in here. Oh, no, be oh, there we go. Now we can see. And then special bed is up there. Got a little deck out there. So Pete and Ryan are staying up here. Bailey's downstairs. Got a log cabin. Bailey's downstairs. Anyone? Anything you want to say to YouTube world? Not right now. Not right now. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe. One day I'm going to get him talking on camera, and it's going to surprise everybody. All right, you got a little snow on the deck, and you probably can't see, but just across the way is the Teleco River and I plan to boat down to the cabin one of these days. And uh, got a wraparound deck. Got Cheryl Hall Skyway just below us here. Pretty cool little spot. Head back in. Got Bailey the Wonder Dog. What do you say, Bailey? Yeah? All right. All right, now the bunk room. These are for the guys that are coming. Jerry Yang is trying to be self-reliant and he's just not gonna be able to make it this weekend. Jerry, you're messing up. You should have been here. Mm. It's gonna be good, isn't it, baby? Mm -hmm. Nice little kitchen. And then there's some more bunk rooms in, uh, in the master bedrooms back that way, but the River Queen is back that way and she uh, hey, she's Dad. not a fan of the camera. Yeah, not bad. She's not a fan of the camera. Maybe we can sneak a peek. Don't give me away, Bailey. Don't let her know I'm coming. I can't get do 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 <laughs> She's always hiding. All right, we ran her off. So we got a couple more bunk rooms back here. And then the uh, master. The master. So if, if more guests come, we'll probably move Pete and Ryan into here with us so we can all share a bathroom and everything. I am very tall. Send whoever else comes up there. Got a little master bathroom back here. Shower. With a big old shower. Jump in there, show them some scale. Man, yeah. All right, folks, so that's what we're doing. We'll check in when Graham gets here. He's uh, He should be here momentarily. And um, and then Adam. And we gotta figure out what we're doing for dinner. Maybe the Telecafe, who knows? Look who it is, folks. The one and only world famous Graham Biggs. Do you have your credentials, sir? Oh, yeah. Look. Let's see. River King, yes, right this way, <laughs> sir. Adam Davis. Loving up on Bailey a little bit. We're at the Mexican restaurant. <laughs> it's the only game in town with pancakes. So uh, here's to hoping the good. We saw another couple kayaks out front, a green something and an orange scorch. So hopefully that's a good sign and this is a pretty good breakfast. I feel pretty good about it. Heck yeah. Oh man. This is the game in town for breakfast, folks. Stand by for the pancake. Time for some pancakes. It's the pancake breakfast here. 
is amazing. I couldn't finish it all. I've got a big tapeworm and it takes up a lot of space. But, <laughs> Adam, what do you think? It was all yeah. right. I think Adam can steel paddle. Yeah, I think he can get his dry suit on, but he's, he's pretty full. Might be a little tight. How was your biscuits and gravy? Good. 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 If you're in Teleco Plains looking for a pre-river breakfast, the Mexican restaurant's where it's at, so. Feeling good, let's go pay, let's go get dressed, and let's start heading for the river. Look who I have, folks. World famous, Justin Culberson. I told you we got the band back together. Kevin could not make it. Kevin's messing Tried up. Tried to get him. Tried, I tried to, to get, get him. him. He had some stuff going on, couldn't make it, but uh, are you in this one? Yeah, look how the remix. Remix. Woo! You wanna throw in? Go yeah. head up. Are you guys all geared up and ready? Uh, yeah, it's a special day, folks. I have world famous. Chad Fowler. Hey, Meet him for the first man. time. He's getting his PFD. That's right. He's excited. What's your name? Mark. Also got Mark here. Mark Powell. Right on. And uh, what's your last name? Paul. I know I know who you are. Yeah. I see your stuff all the time. Good to finally meet you guys. Yeah, great to meet you. Yeah. Right. You ready? One, two, three. Good gravy. Oh, boy. Biscuits. Don't swim, Graham. <laughs> Not pretty sure. You're just gonna pull your tab off. Oh, you know what? What? I didn't sit my butt. Ah! <laughs> well, we got a practice run in. <laughs> All right, here we go. Take two. Now that we got his back band adjusted. One, two, three. <laughs> ah, yes. Success. If you tell me your skirt implodes at baby and you swim, <laughs> yeah. we're never paddling again. I know you're a liar. <laughs> There's really nothing quite like sliding my boat into the Teleco River. This was my first real creaking experience, my first waterfalls, my first river other than a simple class two, and it's stuck with me ever since. And today we had a special mission to run the upper, middle, and the lower Teleco all the way back to the cabin. It's something I've wanted to do for years. I'm here with Courtney. What are you doing today? A little teleco fun? A little teleco. Is this your first time? Nope, this is my second. Right on. I've graduated a little, guys. That's the fantastic. Last time, you see me. last time was Nana Halo, right? Yes. Yep. I would never dream of doing something like this then. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Yes. Who are you with, Chad? Yes. Chad and Mark. Mark. Yep. And Q. I thought I saw Q down yes, there. Q. What's your favorite part on this run? Um, the fall, baby falls. Baby falls. Yeah. Garrett and me was pretty cool. That was my first time running something class four, this class four in Yep. Oh my gosh, yeah. yeah. And, and that's the time I decided I had to hit a combat roll. I was so proud of myself. Oh, you were upside down in it? Yes. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. And I hit a combat and I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> and it was my first combat that was like gauntlet. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I yeah. was just like, that's the best kind. Yes. The more you think, the worse it gets. Yes, yes, yes. Fantastic. I want to see a flat booth on video somewhere. Oh, I know. I want to hear it from where I am. Whoa. Definitely trying to work on that. <laughs> the best thing to do when you booth, lean really far back and put your paddle over your head. Bottom fell out of my box. Uh oh. It wasn't all the way extended, but it was like a enough flight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. Y'all have fun. Thank you. Q. Thank you. Woo. Doing right? Just a few weeks prior, I first met and paddled with Q on the Chatuga Section 4. She's been putting in a lot of work to try to get these booths flat. And I'm rooting for it. One of my favorite rivers. It's a good one. Have fun out there. See you on down the river. Make it fly! Yes, 
Watch that guy, watch that guy. Watch him, watch Kevin. Okay. Woo! Where's Adam at? He's in the eddy. Yeah, not on purpose. There he is. Hey, you did make it. <laughs> yeah. Do the easy line, get up on the slide rocks, get the corner. Who is this crazy paddler? Oh my God. Who is this crazy paddler? That's because you're in that I boat that it. wants to stand up. <laughs> hey Adam, it's real manky in here. So give yourself a little space. Just nothing. Boogie. Do you know which way you go?
<laughs> Apparently you don't go too wide. <laughs> I love it. I was going to talk to you and I looked up and you were going. I was like, uh oh, yeah. this thing going to work out. <laughs> I was the it's fine. Sorry about that. No, I mean, it's probably my fault for going. But I was like, uh oh, I'm not catching that next Eddie. <laughs> what? Did you know before I left to drop into that hole right No, there? I was going to catch the Eddie you had been sitting in. And then Justin started squirting out. Oh, and I was in no man's land. Oh. So then I just had to work it out. <laughs> well, I'm pretty sure I won the best line of the day through there, guys. Hate to brag on myself, but nobody beaters like me. <laughs> Connor had a pretty good line, too. I was full sideways above the Yeah! <laughs> well, yeah, you might have a, you might be in the running. No. It was going to be so pretty. We took a quick break, told a few fun stories, and then we shoved off to tackle the middle teleco.
sun, finally. Gotta enjoy the sun when you can get it up here. Yeah, it's definitely warmer down here. Y'all have fun. Send me a text, let me know you got out all right. And we start the unknown portion of the journey. From Oosterneck to the cabins.
I thought about it, but then we had to walk the boats further. Should have done it though. Yikes. Good stuff, man. You walk like I feel. <laughs> the legs ain't working. My legs aren't quite there. No, they're almost there. Said it feels good in here. All right, folks, that's it. That's the Teleco ledges the middle and the lower to the cabin. Always wanted to do it. Graham made him have it with you today. Long so day. That's a long, 10.3 <laughs> miles. It probably got up to, probably up on the river. I'm gonna say probably 35 for the high. I don't think it made it to 40 up in there. I am hungry. Well, yeah. folks, here she is. Look at that smile. Yeah. Kayak Georgia here at uh, Teleco. How was it? It was awesome. Awesome. Good deal. She's killing it, folks. Yes. Killing it. Nice to see you, Pete. You back tomorrow? No, uh, Chattooga tomorrow. Chattooga, have fun. All right, folks, I'm here with world famous Riley Spoon, and he's gonna do something amazing for me. Maybe. Amazing. Maybe. Yeah, I got a Cobra. Yeah. Yeah, been trying, not successful yeah. yet, but gonna keep at it. All right, well, fire it up, let me see something. Hey, man, How good to doing? see you guys. <laughs> How are you? Okay. It's my favorite people. How are you doing? Good, how are you doing? Woo, River King! Look that's what I'm that. talking about. <laughs> that's awesome. You go watch these guys. Yeah, we ran it earlier, um, but we went all the way down to my cabin. We 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 rented a cabin. We're here this morning, but we'll be back again tomorrow. <laughs> Brandon Voltage. All right, guys. I have Kevin and Blake. And uh, look at that smile. He's gonna run it tomorrow, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So they should be up here tomorrow and hopefully we'll be able to run into them and uh, see them fire something up. So awesome, good stuff. Tell the world who you are. Hey, my name is Jake McConnell, Jackson Kai, Fire Water Team Athlete. That's what I'm talking about. He's gonna do something amazing. Well, I don't know about that. We'll try it. Amazing. It's, here it goes, folks. Folks, we're here at the restaurant again, La Lotteria, getting breakfast. It's the best game in town. And uh, Pete, what do you have? French toast. French toast. I'm gonna do the French toast breakfast. French toast. And combo. then uh, Nate is not sure where he wants to go with that. I, think I might get an omelet. An omelet. Maybe. He ain't from around here. <laughs> omelet. Only class two boaters get omelets. I'm just saying. <laughs> right. I, I don't know why. I've just never been an omelet fan. Really. It's not that I dislike them, I just never, I never say, hey, I want an omelet. I'm, I'm not sure why. Maybe it's the cheese. You don't like cheese? Uh, I, I kind of like cheese, but maybe not with my eggs. I'm not sure. But, uh, omelet, we'll see how it shakes out. Stay tuned. All right, folks, we got the food. Tell me how it is, Pete. Good. Pete did not waste any time getting started on his French toast this morning. All right, so breakfast, potatoes. Yes, Graham's about to go for I'm trying to recover first bite. <laughs> what do you think? It's good. Cool. It's a good yep. French toast at La Lotteria's. Looking pretty good. Let's give it a shot. No butter, no syrup. Mm. Yes, that's good French toast. Teleco round two. And I got the little man. It's a big day. Pete's in a real life jacket. Finally can fit a man sized life jacket. And like I say for the record, if Graham ever claims, people, that his skirt imploded, don't for a second believe it. One, two, three. Ah! Whew, that's about all my fingers can handle. You in there, Pete? 
Feeling good? Oh, you can't get your skirt on? Oh, you, you don't get your hands out of your pogies. <laughs> My hands are cold. And I have to admit, as good as paddling the Teleco River is on its own, being able to share the river with my son is a joy beyond measure. You just have some fun. I'll let you know if it matters. Okay. Some five. I'm, I'm more proud of you from that. All right, you ready to get back over? Yeah. You need a minute? Yeah. He's a beast! <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, so we're gonna drive right. Not too far, but we're gonna drive right. You see that rock with all the skinny water on it? Right in front of you? We wanna drive up on that.
that whole thing, you eddy out right. You'll see the vessel, the guarantee, the big brown rock. Okay. You want to go off of it middle okay. or kind of on the left? Okay. Not all the way left. Okay. But kind of middle. If you get started going right, you can't stop it. Go way right. Okay. Don't kind of be right at that knuckle. Okay. Either off it, left, or way right. Okay. You good? Want me to go first? I'm chilling it, man. And everything else after this all day is fun and easy. Okay. Love you. The man. Kind of get out in this current. Right here where I'm at. Yeah. Turn around and go through the hole. Okay? I'm happier that you're messing these lines up pretty good and you're showing me that you can fight through it where it matters. Anybody can roll where it doesn't matter. Yeah, oh yeah, it matters. Yeah. You are a beast, Pete. Too smooth. I think what you're really missing, to be honest with you, just a little biscuit bill to help you punch the holes. <laughs> <laughs> There's something about momentum help you get through a hole. The French toast wasn't enough. Huh? Yeah, you got a big boat with not much biscuit bill in there. But yeah, that, I'm, that was awesome. That was Clutch roll. Incredible. That was better than your last one. That was that was more key than. than yes. Flip anywhere on the river, but right there. <laughs> yeah.
Couldn't help you. Hey, I'm here. I'm here. You good? Flip. Just swim. I got your boat. Catch, catch it, Eddie, Pete. That was a meaty swim. Hey Pete, way to adjust and not buddy boof your buddy. <laughs> People ask me why I don't paddle boats with edges off. Well, I do sometimes. <laughs> but did y'all see his edge catch that rock? Let's go to the slow-mo right here. And pretty much there you have it. Sometimes those edges are really good. But sometimes they earn you the coveted River King swimmer bell, baby. Woo! Woo! That was a gnarly swim. I'm glad he's okay. Um, I almost got to him where I could hand have got him up, but I just, he kind of stalled in a hole and I went by him and I couldn't grab him anymore. But I'm glad you're all right, man. He's good. That's part of creaking. Sometimes it works out. Sometimes you have a really cool story and you get the, st the sticker. So. Yes. Stickers are cooler than cool stories anyway, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. People, how do you get that sticker? <laughs> go go with Pete. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Padla Jackson, catch an edge. You know. <laughs> I, I get to I have to pick on Jackson whenever I can, you know. This boat made it through, okay. Graham made it through. Pete, that was your liquid logic. That round boat just handled it well, didn't it? Yep. <laughs> so yeah, we'll take another look at that on the instant replay. Maybe we get Maybe we'll get Nate in a Flying Squirrel 95 or something. Something that can handle some rocks, you know. Maybe, uh, maybe an Alpha 90. Ma yeah, maybe. maybe an Alpha 90, baby. <laughs> Woo! All right, folks, River King exclusive. The first ever on-river sticker earning from a, from a swimmer. Yeah. And so I just drive the helmet. I'm going to put my helmet on so I can have both hands, and then we're going to... We're going to christen him as part of the inner circle of River King Swimmers. And uh, for today, you are the new captain of the River King Swim Team. Sweet! You probably want to give Pete a big thanks for not taking that title from you today. Because he had the opportunity. <laughs> Pete is the question? <laughs> well, the one that was uh, not swimming. <laughs> You're not swimming though, right? I wasn't upside down though. Oh, okay. There we go. I think we're all set there, buddy. Woo! Yeah! ever that was the rapid Pete's been looking for
Little man looks like a drowned rat. Woo! He's freezing cold. And he's really wanting to do this interview with me right now. No. But uh, what, <laughs> what was the best part of the day? Best moment of the day. Well, that's yet to come. Huh? That's yet to come? <laughs> what was the best moment of the run? French toast. Don't know. French toast was the best moment. Yeah. <laughs> Did you like your roll at Jared's knee or Baby Falls better? Those easier at Jared's knee. Easier at Jared's knee. And more important at Jared's <laughs> knee. Way, more important, yeah. <laughs> Way to beast it, bud. I'm cold. Yeah, I can see. <laughs> Muster a smile for me. I'll turn this camera off. <laughs> Let me see those teeth. No. Yeah, come on. Let me see. <laughs> so I'm here with Turry and Larry, which is Larry and Turry. And uh, the man I bought my brat from just walked up the hill. The main man, how you doing, brother? Good, how are you? Good, doing good. Rip, man. <laughs> he he so, sounds yeah. like me coming off this today. <laughs> so yeah, home. ran at them here to take out me and Nate to go run up, yeah, meet Graham, and make another lap. So way, let's get on the river. Yeah. Joy lap time. So we dropped P5 off to warm up, and we headed to the top of the hill for one last joy run on the ledges section. As you can see, Graham is tearing up. It's time, uh, time for him to head back home and leave the Riverview, the River King Teleco campus, at least for the weekend. All right, so uh, yeah, Nate and Graham are out of here. Get home safe. Let me know when you make it. 
Your camera's still recording? Oh, yeah. Ah, cool. No, it's awkward. Nate, <laughs> I don't know what to say anymore, you know? Fun time. Fun times, man. We'll do Fun it again. Yeah, we'll do it right on, brother. Be blast. Be good, good stuff. <laughs> All right, folks, there you have it. Nate has earned the first on river, River King swim team swimmer bell sticker. That's a lot yeah. to say. So. And even had the River King put it on my helmet. Well, there was an extra charge for that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> just haven't built him yet. <laughs> yeah, okay. No, man, I appreciate it, dude. Yeah. Awesome weekend. It was a pleasure. We'll do it again soon. Definitely. Now let's go get some dinner. All right, folks, so we're uh, wrapping up. I'm making one last walkthrough to make sure we haven't left anything under the bed. And we're about to take off and drive home. But first, I'm going to take the girls up, show them the waterfalls. But I've got a River King sticker. If any of you are ever in the Riverview cabin, I think I'm going to stick it up here on this top shelf in this room next to the deer picture. It'd be hiding right there for you. There you go. All right, we're here at Baby Falls. We've got Mama and Bailey over there walking around. We just took some photos. What do you think about it, Ryan? I don't know. It's your first time seeing it, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. You think you'll do that with me one day? No. Please? No. Keep it an option. No. When she's ready, she'll be ready. Look at the falls. You were under that yesterday. Okay. So. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Tell me what you were thinking under the curtain. Cool, I'm upside down. <laughs> Stone cold. Y'all ready to get home? Yeah. Beautiful day at the Teleco Gorge. If you've never been, even if you don't kayak, it's worth a trip up here to see the sights, see Baby Falls. There's usually going to be kayakers going over this. Um, diaper wiper right below. It's another pretty big rapid. And then Bald River Falls. Beautiful scenery up in the gorge. Teleco Plains is a cool town. And you got the Chirahala Skyway right here. Amazing place. One of my favorite places on earth is the Teleco Plains, Teleco Gorge area. That's my favorite river. Not the hardest, not the craziest, not the biggest, but one of the most beautiful and probably for me, I think is just the most fun river I've paddled. It's all fun, very low sketch factor, just so much fun. So thanks for tuning in. See you next time. And that was our weekend on the Teleco River fantastic time with family and friends. If you've never been, throw a kayak in the truck and head to the Teleco and make it fly.